Today we will be going over some basic landmarks on a skeleton. If you follow down the neck, the first indentation that you will feel is the suprasternal notch. Then you can work your way down along the sternum until you feel a protrusion. This is what is called the angle of Louis. If you go to either side from the angle of Louis, it will bring you to the second rib or second intercostal space depending on your positioning. But most of the time, it is the second rib you will be feeling. Then you can work your way down to find the landmarks that you need for your assessment. Remember that for respiratory landmarks, we are always looking for the rib. For cardiac landmarks, we are always looking at the intercostal spaces. There is always a rib followed by an intercostal space. Now, let's look at the skeleton's posterior. If you have the person bend their neck forward, the most prominent vertebrae that you will feel is called C7. The next vertebrae that you will feel is T1. Then you can work your way down like this all the way until T10. T1, T3, and T10 are important for your respiratory landmarks. 